Well, they're like, talking about the exodus of Jesus. That's his death. When you die, you exit this life. You leave. You depart, in fact, into the grave. So they then, having seen this vision of the second coming, the conversation then turns to a different thing, which is his coming immediate exodus, which would be his departure from this life, which is death, I would say. Don't tell this vision to anybody. The vision, as Second Peter 1 explains, was a vision of the kingdom, the parousia. So then the conversation turns in a different direction, namely his upcoming death, his departure, which was about to happen at Jerusalem. That's when he was killed. Of course, his departure is departing from his disciples most directly. Uh, he's not going to be with them anymore. He talks about that in the teens of John, that I'm not going to be with you from this point. So there's a departure from them that's that's looming, that's coming up. But uh, I really like this picture uh, on the mount, and particularly in Matthew 17 and then verse 5, where that the whole essence of this, this what we're to learn from this, what the disciples were to learn, was the significance of here is Moses, uh, the one from whom the the law had come. The law came by Moses, uh, John 1, 18. And then we have, of course, Elijah, the, the great prophet, who I think is representative of the prophets. But the, Im the immediacy of Jesus and the primacy of Jesus, I think, is what we find in John 17 and 5, where that the voice that speaks to them from the cloud says, this is my son, my beloved son, yeah. hear him. And I think that's just amazing as to what was going on uh, as far as what was happening with these fellows that appeared uh, and all of that. It's fine. I think it's a vision. I don't think they were literally there. They didn't need to be there for this to occur. Uh, again, I hold on to the possibility that uh, you could have temporary resurrections. Uh, that may be a heretical thought, but I think it's actually possible. In fact, we know that did occur. Jesus resurrected people who then died again. You could resurrect someone to appear in a case like this and then who would cease to exist. They would go back into the non-existence. I think it could happen. That's just me. But it's a worst case scenario. If you want to, I, I think it's just a vision and I don't think they were physically present. Uh, my own belief, just to add to the others, is that this is a vision and visions are not meant to be taken as a literal occurrence. They are just that, they are visions, often prophetic, often looking into the future. Uh, no different here to the symbolism used for the souls under the altar. Uh, it's um, it's um, uh, literal. It's not literal. It's it's uh, pictorial or prophetic.